It would have been nice if they would have used black ink instead of white ink. A little bit hard to read it, but uh, silver play button. It only took 11 years, or 10 years, and over 3,000 videos, but that's the award for uh, achieving 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. The next one is at 1 million subscribers. It's a gold one. And then at 10 million, it's a diamond one, I think. Diamond, not real diamond. And then I think at 100 million, it's a platinum. We'll get there one step at a time, one step at a time. So uh, that was exciting. I came in. It's actually quite a little bit of a hassle to get that thing. They don't just send them out. You uh, have to apply for them and then they have to review your channel and then you have to enter in a bunch of information and then they send it out to you. But I figured out how it's done and uh, there we go. It's on the wall. Silver play button. So today's video is a bit of a mishmash. I had vacation time this week and I didn't film much. A little bit here, a little bit there. Got a bunch of projects done. Uh, got some paperwork done. You'll see towards the end of this video, we cleared out that shed uh, and got the lawn mowed. So here's the vlog. A little bit of, a little bit of everything from, from throughout the week. A little bit here, a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm that guy at Tim Hortons in his pajamas. Better believe it. I don't care. It's Saturday. It's pajama day. I'm pretty sure it's written into the law somewhere. It's in the fine print of one of those bills that get pushed through that nobody reads. All must wear pajamas on Saturdays. But every other day of the week, professional. When you get out of your truck, you better look professional. You better look good, you better smell good. I know I keep talking about that because I keep walking into truck stops and realizing that not everybody watches my videos. Just want to give a friendly public service announcement and a friendly reminder, as friendly as I could possibly make this, put some deodorant on. You know who you are. You stink. <laughs> look good, smell good. Take care of yourself. You know, if I end up buying a second truck and hiring a driver to, to drive it, I would expect that. I'm not gonna tell them what to wear and like demand them and give them a uniform or anything, but I am gonna expect a certain amount of professionalism. If you're gonna be driving my truck, I want you to, to look good, smell good when you get to the customer, when you go into truck stops, when you present yourself to people. That's just me though, I mean. Maybe other people don't care. I think a lot of people do care. I think more people care than we know. I think everybody cares. 99.9% .9 of people care a lot. I'm here at home doing business stuff. There never really is a day off as an owner operator and that's okay. You own your own business, you run your own business, you gotta take care of your expenses, all your paperwork, your taxes. Lucky for me, my mom owns an accounting business and she's been an accountant for over 40 years. So uh, that helps out a great deal. So my main job is to keep records of absolutely everything. And that's what I got all these books for. Red book is for fuel mileage. What I've been filling up, spending on fuel. The blue book is for old blue, obviously. A summary of everything. In here, I keep track of all of my loads, every single load that I do, what I'm getting paid for it, what my rate is, how much I'm making per mile on that load, how many empty miles I drove to get to that load. Keep track of all of that. Then at the end of the month, I just finished doing this for June and July. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the numbers here just right now uh, because that's kind of personal. But uh, what I do here is I keep track of my gross revenue, the money that my truck brought in all together. And then I keep track of the net, what I get to keep off that gross income. Because I'm contracted to Keystone, uh, they get a cut. Or maybe I get a cut of whichever way you look at it. The majority of it is mine, but they take a small piece off of that, I guess, for, uh, you know, they got to keep their roof over their head and their lights on too, obviously. And it is their accounts that I'm hauling for. So I'm contracted to them. I can only haul loads for them, but it's my truck, my business. So that's the way it works. I get a, a certain percentage, which is the pretty much the majority of the, the rate goes to me because I have the majority of the expenses. So I keep track of the net, what I get to keep after that. Keep track of my loaded miles, my empty miles, and then my total miles. And then I calculate how much I'm 
kept per mile. And then I calculate my fuel expenses, my licensing fees, all my permits, all the other fees that I have, insurance and everything. So in total, I can tell you this, my fuel cost in June was $12,150.40 Canadian. My licensing fees were one and uh, other fees like insurances and everything else added in their tarp rentals, $1,897.37. So in total, my expenses for June was $14,047.77. So what I'm doing then is I'm taking my expenses, uh, putting them up against my net income and how many miles I drove, and then I can figure out exactly what my fuel cost me per mile and what my total cost was per mile to operate my truck. It's very important to know that. You wanna know exactly how much money you're spending to move this truck a mile down the road on average. Like that's over the whole month, whether you're loaded or empty. All the miles throughout the month, on average, how much did it cost you to move your truck one mile per mile? And you can sort of get an idea of what to expect in the following months, right? And you can keep track of it month by month this way. That way, if it suddenly starts to spike and go up, you gotta, you know you gotta start asking questions. Like, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? Why are my expenses shooting up so high, right? This isn't taking into effect my services or putting the tire patches on there. That all comes out of the revenue that I keep. I didn't add that in here. I, I guess I could if I wanted to. I didn't for this, for this exercise, this purpose, my records here. But yeah, there's a way I know how much I went down there, and then I keep track of how much I kept per mile. So every mile that my truck moved down the road, how much went into my pocket? After expenses, after fuel, after everything else, but before, you know, maintenance. Maybe I could add that in there in the future. I kind of think maybe I should, then I get a better idea. But services only happen every two months or so, every six to eight weeks, depending on how much you drive. So uh, I had a pretty good month in June, but I had a better month in July. It's funny, because in, in June, I drove a total I didn't get that many miles. I drove a total of uh, 9,942 miles. My goal for the month is 10,000, so I was just under. <coughs> In July, we had a lot of fertility appointments. I had to be home for a lot of appointments, so I didn't get quite as many miles. I got, uh, I drove 8,710. That's why I keep track of this, because I look over that last month, I'm like, okay, I need to step it up this month. I really need to hammer down, and I need to get my, my goal, 10000 But the thing is, I made more money per mile in July than I did in June. So it goes up and down. As an owner-operator, I, I like to uh, I keep track of everything, all my records. And when I get my pay stubs at the end of the month, I go through every little detail. And I know it probably bugs, bugs our... Our very nice payroll lady. She's a very nice, very nice lady. And uh, <laughs> always on the phone. As soon as I see something, I'm like, hey, what's going on? What's this? This doesn't match my records. <laughs> Usually it's nothing or it's something that can easily be fixed. She's super nice. I like her. Uh, but uh, <laughs> she probably sends out the, the, <laughs> the pay stub, sends it out to me and then just waits for the phone to ring. <laughs> she knows I keep track of every little detail and I encourage all of you to do that too I mean it's up to you if you want to or not but if you don't know where your money's going it's all gonna be gone you have to keep track where is it going and if too much is gone you got to figure out okay where did it all go did I need all of this maybe I should cut back here because we need to bump this number up a little bit that I'm taking home like how what can I do to make it better Maybe I need to uh, lay off the throttle a little bit, or... I mean, I can't do that. I joke around saying that I, I love the sounds of my engine, but I am very fuel, fuel efficient, fuel economy minded. I don't idle my truck when I don't have to. I drive well, between 62 to 65 miles an hour, depending on the day, usually, uh, just to get the best fuel economy I can with the best time. It's, it's all a money game. It's a numbers game. You got to keep track of your numbers. And that's what I like to do. I have my booklet down here for my maintenance. I'm just keeping track of all my maintenance. Now, how much I spent on maintenance. Like I said, the blue book is the overall cost and revenue of the business. And the red one is for keeping track of my fuel economy every time I fuel. Some people ask, why do you do that? Why do you write it down? I know there's apps for that. I use an app as well. But I also write it down because I like to have it on paper. Your phone can crash and then your app and all that data could be gone. 
you know, maybe it stays in the cloud. I don't want to risk that. I keep it on paper. I like it old school that way. And then I can look back over the months since I bought the truck to see if my fuel economy is going up or if it's going down. And if it's consistently going down, 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 but I'm not changing my driving behavior, well, then I, th I, I know then that maybe there's something up with my engine and I might need to get that looked at. Why is my fuel economy going down, 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 but I'm not doing anything to make it go down, right? That's why I keep track of records for everything. Uh, it's, you can get long-term benefits off of that or maybe you can see that your fuel economy is going up 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 hey maybe it can be good it's not always bad keeping records maybe you can give yourself a pat on the back saying hey i've been doing a lot better than i did in the past few months where is that cricket good day everybody I'm here in the shop with old blue we just uh took it to get three axle alignment everything is straight after that bear ran into my steer axle here i was a little concerned that my uh, steering was a little out and that my alignment was a little out that's a good idea to do that every now and then anyways just to make sure everything's lining up so that your uh, tire wear wears evenly but as i've uh, been trying to film this first clip here we have the peanut gallery back there that just won't shut up I didn't invite them here. Where are you? It's right around here. Oh, there he is. I saw him. He's behind this thing. Oh, I'm gonna get you. There you are right there. You are uninvited, my friend. And I'm gonna show you what happens uh, when you show up to my shop uninvited, okay? Now don't be alarmed, cover your eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he got away, he got away. Come here, you little, you little word I can't say on YouTube, come here. Okay. Ha ha, I got him. Ha ha ha. You will be evicted and cast into a spider web spider will have a delicious meal now thank you very much there's another one how do they get in here it's not perfectly sealed here or something now you know what happens when you show up to my shop unannounced you will be evicted and thrown into a big spider web you think i'm joking <laughs> Don't try me. I'll kick you up. This is my space. Mine. Anyways, yeah, uh, got old blue in alignment today. On Friday, day after tomorrow, uh, she's going in to get full service. Also getting a shock or two replaced on the rear end. It's time to do that. And I've got to get those mirrors replaced yet. And I've got to get the horns installed yet. There's so much to do all the time. It is so hot in here though. My face must just be beet red. I'm gonna have to invest in some kind of massive shop fan or something that I can hang on the walls up here or something to just blow air around here. Cause it's just, it's humid, it's muggy. And there's crickets, uninvited crickets. I hope that that spider leaves that cricket just to, you know, just to hang out there to warn off all the other all the other crickets that might think they want to sneak in through the door. Sort of like those old signs, pirates beware. Oh, crickets beware. This is what's going to happen to you if you try to get in this shop. And then I love when I get those arguments. But Trucker Josh, you're in their habitat, Trucker Josh. No, you're wrong. They're in my habitat. Last I checked, we belong here on this planet too. You ever heard of survival of the fittest? Well, the strongest species always wins. I'm stronger than the crickets. They're in my habitat. They can go find another habitat. I'm not taking up the whole earth. They can go find a different habitat. This is my habitat, right? I belong in this planet too, just as much as them. But when it comes to space, whoever can claim a space and defend it, that's who gets to keep it. That's just the laws of the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Right? Oh, I saw one running. You better run for the hills, boy. 
See his leg sticking out there? He thinks he's hiding. Oh, he's, he escaped. He escaped. Let me show you my karate. Oh, my door won't close. Oh, boy. Watch out. We haven't had any vlogs from throughout the week. I've had some time off and getting some stuff done. It's almost time to get ready to go back to work. Today is Friday when I'm filming this. I think it's September, beginning of September, second, third. I'm still in my pajamas. My brain hasn't turned on yet. I have a project for today though. I want you to come along and give me a hand. We have this shed in our backyard and I don't know if I've ever shown you inside. This is where we keep all the goods. Under lock and key. You can see it's pretty full in here. And my project for today is to clean this out, bring a lot of this over to the shop, and organize the stuff here that's going to stay here. Diesel, are you going to help me today? Absolutely, man. As soon as I grow my thumbs. All right, as soon as I get your thumbs, I'll be here to help. It's time to get some glasses, I think. It was a busy week. Like I said at the beginning of the video, didn't film much this week. I took, took time for myself and my wife, our little family here, and just relaxed. Didn't film much, but... Uh, putting together a little mishmash from the week, a little bit of uh, clips from every day. We ended off with that shed. We got it all cleared out, uh, got it all arranged in the shop, reorganized uh, the shop. Still not done organizing in there. There's so much to do in there that it'll take a little while. I gotta organize all my tools. I had a whole bunch of tools I forgot I even had in there, which is awesome. That's always nice to figure out. <laughs> I have a lot more tools than I thought. Gotta find homes for all of them in the shop and make it all look nice and everything like that but sorry that there wasn't too many videos from this week guys but uh, sorry not sorry because it was nice just having some time to just relax and get stuff done uh there's one little clip there from us going to the eye doctor yesterday uh i am getting glasses uh i've got a prescription coming in it should be here in a couple of weeks uh yeah so i guess a new look for trucker josh is coming ordered a, a pair of regular glasses and then also a pair of prescription shades too my eyes aren't actually really that bad my left eye is a little bit worse than my right eye so uh as soon as those prescriptions come in i guess we'll be seeing things in hd 4k vision i can see everything just fine now but now when they put the the glasses over me it's like oh wow high definition you don't even really realize it right I notice it mostly at night when I get tired. Hmm. But uh, first time in my life, yeah, I had to order some glasses for myself. So there's some news for you. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get worse throughout my life. But you know, as you age, that's, that's what happens. As I was reminded in my comment section over and over. Thanks guys for reminding me I'm getting old. I don't feel like it. I'm only 34. Got a long way to go yet, so these, these things are going to last me a long time yet. But holy, are glasses expensive. Glasses are expensive. This is like $800 plus the $100 for the, uh, for the eye exam itself. So it's almost $1,000. It was buy one pair, get one pair free. So they obviously jacked up the pair, the price of one so that I can get the other one for free. But I got one pair, pair of prescription glasses and one pair of prescription sunglasses. It's $900. That's Canadian, but still. Ah. I never knew it was so expensive. Better take good care of them, I guess. Anyways, thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, I'll be headed out on a trip soon. Uh, when I'm filming this ending clip, it's Sunday already. So my dad's going to be here soon. We're going to go out and do some target shooting, shoot some plinkers. And uh, I'd love to include more of that on the vlogs, but uh, you know how YouTube is. I don't want to... Don't want to rock the boat with them too much. I'm not a controversial channel. 
YouTube doesn't like the boomsticks. I don't have to show too much of the boomsticks. Maybe I'll see what I can see what I can do. See how, how I can get around get around it here a little bit and share share a little bit of what we're doing. Just shooting at plinkers. That's harmless enough, but you know, you know how it is. This world's a crazy place. Everything's the end of the world. Oh no, he's got boomsticks. Oh, I can't even say the word on YouTube because the the algorithms, right? They derank your videos then and stuff. And I, I like the audience here and I like making my videos. They're not supposed to be controversial. And I don't want them to become controversial, even though that's not a controversial topic. But it is to the overlords there. So I shall obey because I want to keep making videos for you without disruption. We'll see what we can do. After that, I go to my parents for uh, supper. And then I got to get Old Blue ready. Uh, we're headed out. We got to go pick up a load first thing tomorrow morning. So I'll probably head out tonight yet. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, take care. Have a great day. Be legendary.